Cornerstone Retirement Partners presents Your Course to Retirement with Grand Rapids Certified Financial Planner Ron Corser and Nolan Gosling. Cornerstone Retirement Partners are planning today for the potential of tomorrow. Welcome into another edition of Your Course to Retirement with Grand Rapids Resource for a common sense approach to planning for information and education on our financial investment and retirement future. He is Ron Corser, CFP Certified Financial Planning Professional and the founder of Cornerstone Retirement Partners. And Ron, on today's program, going to be talking about expenses in retirement. And retirement success and quality is is really all about cash flow and expenses. So identifying what our expenses are going to be, especially the big ones, and planning specifically for them is probably a great step in the right direction of a successful retirement. You know, Peter, it really is. One of the biggest challenges, if I can use that word, that everybody seems to have in planning for this wonderful thing called retirement is really get a a handle or a fix on what our expense is going to be. And there's two things that have to come into play here. We need to understand that one one of the top reasons for people being so concerned about, am I going to have enough money in retirement? The real question they're asking underneath it is not, am I going to run out? I've never met anybody that's actually run out of money. I have met some people that have made decisions on their lifestyle in retirement that has uh, not that's not worked out well, and they've had to adjust their lifestyle downward. Nobody wants to do that. But in dealing with expenses, there are really two, th- two things to consider. Number one, the everyday mundane, I got to pay the electric bill every month, the gas bill, buy groceries, those kinds of expenses. And those are the like what we call the baseline expenses, if you will. Those are the ones that are going to have they're going to come every month, just like everything else. It's going to happen every month. You're going to have to pay them over and over again, and they'll go up a little bit every year. So that's part of it. The other part of the expense planning has to do with a either a catastrophic health event, a change in the tax code, or you just want to go out and do that vacation you thought about all your life and take all your kids and grandkids on this marvelous Ronda World cruise for six months. So you better have enough money to do that. So there's really two categories of expenses. And it's really important in in planning for retirement income to make sure that you have a handle, especially on the baseline, and also have a pretty good predictor of what you may be spending, say, in the first three to five years of your retirement life. So let's talk about it, because if you haven't identified these expenses and haven't given some thought to them, the chances of being successful in retirement, and what do I mean by being successful? Not having to worry about, oh my goodness, uh, the market just went down 15%, am I going to be okay? So identifying expenses is important, and there's three big ones, taxes, healthcare, and inflation. And we're going to touch on all three of them here, in, in this uh, brief program that we're going to have. So what's the first one? And how do you deal with taxes? How do you deal with inflation? How do you deal with health care? Well, your advisor should create for you a written income plan. What is a written income plan? That's on a piece of paper, black and white. It's not, well, I think I can take 4 or 5% out of my investments and be okay with Social Security. No, it really documents every expense you'll have. How much do we pay for electricity every month? Do we still have a mortgage payment? Do we still have a car payment? How much are we spending for gas? How much are we spending for clothes? All of those line item things that come out of our checkbook every month. So it's really important to identify those clearly. And I'll tell a story why I know that. Oh, this is a a long time ago, really. A young lady who was 43 at the time, her husband died. He was a minister. They had four children. Uh, they didn't have a lot of money, but he left her a $400,000 life insurance policy. And she came to see me. And one of the questions I asked her was, Tamara, how much money do you need every month coming in to pay your bills, feed your family, and get along with life? Because she was going to have to create a new life for herself. Because as a, as a minister's wife, uh, they do all kinds of things, and they don't make a lot of money. So she thought she knew about how much she needed. And the money that came in at about $2,600 a month. And I asked her a favor. I said, would you do me a favor? Could we just not do anything with this money for 90 days? 
Would you promise to track every dime you spend everywhere on whatever you spend it on for the next 90 days, then come back and we'll figure out how to create an income plan with the money you had. And she did that. She was very faithful about that. And she came back and found out she needed about $3,300 a month. Now, what's significant about that? If we were to create an income plan to give her $2,500 or $2,600 a month, but she needed one that needed $3,300, the plan would have failed, would have flat out failed. That's why it's really important to document your expenses. And then on top of that, we built in a little cushion because she was going to have to go back to school and, and learn some skills that she didn't have before that would, she would need. So ultimately, that little 90-day window where she took the time to document everything uh, made all the difference in the world in the kind of plan we put together. So ladies and gentlemen, if this is the kind of planning help you want in your retirement life, give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581. That's 616-301-2581. I'm Ron Corser. You can ask for Nolan Gosley, our managing director here. And, and we can help you create that written income plan that does one thing very well. It, it puts in place, it lines up your everyday expenses that are going to come no matter what with income that's going to come also no matter what. So you don't have to worry about whether the market goes down or sideways or you're going to be able to make it. We can help that. We can help you make really good, comfortable decisions on that. So give us a call, 616-301-2581, or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com. Put your information in or reach out to us. We'll reach out to you, and we'll figure out the best way we can be of help to you. Ron, I think that's the kind of planning not only that we want, but that we need and that so many of us are looking for, because unfortunately, I think in a lot of places, it would have been a, a very easy conversation of, well, let's get that money invested and and do what we do with it before really understanding what the needs were that we needed to meet with those dollars. And that's where real financial and retirement planning, I think uh, the rubber meets the road. That's where it comes down to whether or not we have a true plan is, are we addressing the financial needs first, or are we just looking at investing dollars? And I know that's that the, the, true, yeah. the, the approach there at Cornerstone Retirement Partners are uh, uh, very comprehensive and you and Nolan do a great job of so re reverse engineering the process and building the plan first. It's really important. And so when we think about it, what's what's one of the biggest expenses we're going to face in retirement? That's taxes. So money is always linked to taxes. Whether you have money in your pocket and you go out and buy a hot dog, you're going to pay sales tax. You're going to pay some kind of tax somewhere. So every dollar has a tax burden on it. It's hooked up. And it's really important to understand that because Every, if every decision has a tax implication, then if all your money, for example, is in a 401k or an IRA, that money has never been taxed. So when you start to take money out of that, you're going to have to give the government the first piece. And it's important to understand what your real tax rate might be. And sometimes I'm, I'm amazed, Peter, that people come into our office and we meet them and they, they talk about taking money out of their plan, how they're going to do it. And I ask them, well, when you talk to your other advisor about taxes, what did they tell you? He said, well, they told us to go see somebody. They don't deal with taxes. And, and I understand every investment company has their own philosophy. But I, what I don't understand is how you can give investment advice without even considering the tax implication of what you're asking somebody to do. That's either in taking money out of tax-deferred accounts or converting money from IRAs to Roth IRAs. Or how do you deal with the 1099 capital gains dividend kind of income on an annualized basis? Those things that gobble up money that you can't spend on yourself, you have to give it to the government. So it makes great sense when dealing with creating that retirement income plan. Yes, the first thing you look at is expenses, but then you have to take into consideration what kind of tax implication does my decision make on the income I need in retirement from my life investments. So if I've touched the nerve with you already on this, 
And we're not we're not tax people here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, but I'm a certified financial planner, and Nolan and I are reasonably equipped to at least take a look at a tax return and and give you a ballpark number of what you might be looking at if if you want to make a Roth conversion. The other thing we do is if you don't have a tax preparer, we'll help you. We'll use our own here at the firm to make calculations on what's the impact of taking out an extra $10,000 a year out of your IRA if you want to, or making a Roth conversion. But it's really important to understand the tax implication. And what's even more important for those people who are retiring either now this year or they're going to retire in the next few years, understand this. The tax code is going to change. The tax code will change. It's going to change at the end of 2025. So the rules that we're under now that were put in place in 2017 are going to revert back to the old tax returns and the old tax brackets. That means the 10% bracket automatically becomes the 15% bracket. It automatically goes up. So the politicians in Washington don't have to do anything. And our taxes are going to go up in a couple of three years automatically. So that's something to consider when, when saying, I need to have a retirement income plan that's going to make some sense to me, not only today, but going forward over the next three to five years. And taxes are a big piece of that. So if you want help creating a retirement income plan that does have some emphasis placed on what's the tax involved in the ideas and things we're going to do for helping you in retirement, give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581, 616-301-2581. Ask for me, Ron Corser, or Nolan Gosley. We can walk you through all of this. And you'll find that creating an income plan that deals with taxes gives you a much higher rate or much higher probability of success than if you ignore it. That's why we do what we do at our firm to help you. So give us a call, 616-301-2581, or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com. Put your information in there. We'll reach out to you, and we will help you. Ron, you've got a great report that details our three largest expenses in retirement. The first being our largest known expense for most of us. That is going to be the tax implications that we encounter and the tax liability and the payments that we have over the course of our retirement. You've got two others in there, which is our largest potential expense, health care. That's a really scary one. And then the silent thief inflation, which has not been so silent as of late. We're really feeling the effects of that. Your plans specifically are, are geared and built to address these expenses, whether they're known or potential or could impact us almost silently running in the background. You have to address taxes and health care and inflation. If you don't, whatever plan you put together is going to fail. So let's talk about the second big one, health care. It's been estimated that a couple coming into age 65, getting into the Medicare system, will spend over the life expectancy, say of 20 years, about uh, 250 to $300,000 on health care. Now, that's not talking about long-term care, assisted living or anything. That's just talking about paying premiums, out-of-pocket expenses and everything. And when I, when I talk about that, people's eyes kind of go up. And, wow, that's a big number. And it is a big number. And that's why at our firm here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, one of the things we do that makes us a little bit unique is that we have an entire department within our firm that does nothing but the healthcare part, either before Medicare or during Medicare enrollment or afterwards. My wife, Nancy, handles that part of the business for Cornerstone Retirement Partners. And she's been doing it for, she's pushing 20 years now on it. So when we create a plan for retirement with somebody, we always talk about what kind of health care problems are we going to run into? Because that determines in some ways what kind of health care plan you have. That includes, are you taking any drugs, legal drugs, not street drugs, but legal drugs? Uh, what kind of medical situation are you in? What plan might be best for you? It's not a slam dunk. Okay, I'm 65. I'm just going to get into a program that Joe Namath told me on television I should do. We really take the time and effort to go through and find out about you, what you really need, 
and what the best plans available to you are. And you have options. So my wife does that piece for all of our clients. And that's incorporated into our overall retirement income plan. Because even if you're in Medicare, ladies and gentlemen, you still have a premium that comes out of your Social Security benefit for Part B. It doesn't matter. That's going to come out whether you have an Advantage plan or a Medigap plan. You're going to pay for that. Plus, you're going to have also other kinds of costs uh, that are going to impact you from dental, uh, drugs, co-pays, and things like that. And it can get pretty expensive. It really can. And we're not talking about long-term care or anything like that. We're just talking about basic, I got to go see a doctor, get a physical kind of health care. So that's an important plan, an important piece of what we do. So ladies and gentlemen, give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners. It's 616-301-2581. 616-301-2581. Or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com. It's www.cornerstone-rp.com. Put your information in there. We'll reach out to you and help you in every way we can. So we've covered two now, haven't we? We've covered the fact you need a written income plan, but what's that include? That includes baseline expenses, documenting all of that, plus then adding in some of the other expenses. You may need a new car in two years, or you might take that trip around the world, whatever that is, to make sure we have money allocated to those kinds of things. So then we have to deal with taxes, always, because money is hooked up to taxes, and then health care. And that costs money, so that's part of the plan. So those are the, we're creating an income plan now, and we're going through the three major concerns. So we've talked about taxes, we're talking about healthcare, and now we're gonna talk about one that everybody's very familiar with, inflation. Inflation's be called, been called a stealth tax. It, it really is. I mean, my wife Nancy went shopping yesterday and uh, she bought, apparently she bought some beef. And she said to me, you know how much this cost? And I said, $10. She says, no, this piece of meat was $17. And I said, why'd you buy it? She says, we haven't had meat in I don't know how long. It's time for us to eat meat. So it's those basic kind of things, isn't it? The price of eggs, the price of milk, uh, gas. It's all of those things that that's creating a bit of a hardship on a plant. So how do you deal with in inflation in, in an environment that we have right now that we're going through for the last 15 months or so, when you're getting ready to retire in retirement. Well, you have to plan for things being more expensive. When you create an income plan, it's not just, well, I have $500,000. If I take out $20,000 a year, that's 4%, I'm going to be just fine. Well, that may be fine for the first year, but in the second year, things are going to cost more. So now you're going to have to take out $22,000 maybe. I don't know. So the inflation part of this is really spooky because that gets involved in what kind of what kind of investment strategy should you use that gives you the best potential opportunity to not get crushed by inflation. So this past year was a great example. It was in 2022, it was one of the few times in the history of our country both the stock market and the bond market went down at the same time. That doesn't happen very often. But folks that were holding bonds got crushed. So if you worked with an advisor last year and he kept you in the bond market all year, you may want to ask him, why did you do that with interest rates going way up? Because when I look at my bond portfolio now, especially if you have mutual fund bonds, uh, you've had some losses and sometimes serious losses. So one of the ways that you can kind of buffer yourself a little bit in an inflationary environment is to say, what kind of securities am I holding? Maybe it's time to, to kind of pull back on things that are interest sensitive like bonds. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of bonds out there, but the biggest risk in most bonds is interest rate risk. So if you're in an environment where rates are going up, inflation's going up, maybe the bonds are not what you want to have for majority of your portfolio. I'm not telling you to sell all your bonds and hide under the mattress. All I'm saying is that you should work with an advisor who can address your problems. How do we combat inflation? How do we do that? It's a very basic question. 
And a lot of it has to do with the kind of investment portfolio or the strategy you develop. Now, I can't say here in a radio program what's right for everybody, but I can tell you this. If you give us a call at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581, or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com, put your information in or we'll reach out to you. And we can have a, a, a good conversation about what your portfolio looks like now, what went right, what went wrong with it. If inflation continues to go up, are you going to be buffered as much as you can? Do you have the right strategy in place? We can help you with those questions and we can help you get answers to those questions because I'm not sure when all this is going to end. You know, eventually inflation will probably go down. I don't know if it's going to go down six weeks from now or 16 years from now. But even in, in normal inflation times, things go up two or three percent. So inflation is always rising. And it's really important to make sure that you have the right investment strategy, the right mix of, of securities, if you will, that give you the best opportunity to maybe take advantage of what's going on in the inflation world, but also to minimize any negative impact on your portfolio because of rising interest rates. So if I've touched on a hot button here, ladies and gentlemen, give us a call, 616-301-2581. It's Cornerstone Retirement Partners. I'm Ron Corser, 616-301-2581. Ask for me or a managing partner, Nolan Gosley. We can help you. So the three things we've touched on in creating a retirement income plan. Number one, what are you going to do about taxes? Have you talked about it? Have you incorporated a strategy to deal with the taxes you're going to pay on your money, whether it's in a tax deferred account or an after tax account? Number two, health care. How are you going to handle your health care costs? You need coverage. If you're not Medicare eligible yet, where are you going to get that coverage? Our firm can help you. My wife, Nancy, does a great job with her team in the entire world of health care coverage. So that's two. Number three, inflation. When we created your plan, or when you created your plan, did you take inflation into consideration that it's going to go up for a while? Maybe two years ago, you planned on 2%. It's a lot higher now. Have you made an adjustment in your portfolio? Are you still holding on to things that are kind of getting slapped around a little bit because of higher interest rates? So the creating a good income plan takes into consideration the three biggest expenses, taxes, healthcare, and inflation. Please give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners. We can help you build an income plan that will consider all of these things, give you the best opportunity to match up your expenses on a month-to-month -month basis with your income so you don't have to worry as much about what happened to the market today. So give us a call here at Cornerstone Retirement Partners, 616-301-2581, or go to our website, www.cornerstone-rp.com. Put your information in there. We'll reach out to you as soon as we can. So I want to thank everybody for listening again. This is Ron Corser with Cornerstone Retirement Partners. Have a blessed day. Um, don't worry about the small stuff because the small stuff takes care of itself. We'll deal with that and the big stuff when you come and see us. Take care. Tune into Cornerstone Retirement Partners' full radio program, Your Course to Retirement, Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock at News Radio WOOD or visit cornerstone-rp.com for many valuable resources, including those mentioned on this show and other great episodes of Your Course to Retirement. The content of this radio show is provided for informational purposes only and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. You are encouraged to seek investment, tax, or legal advice from an independent professional advisor. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group is solely an indication that the financial advisor has attended training provided by Ed Slot and Company, passed by annual examinations on material covered at conferences and in webinars, and met other membership requirements and does not constitute an endorsement of any kind. Ed Slot's Elite IRA Advisor Group members pay a fee for the educational programs that allow them to be included in the Ed Slot's Elite IRA 
IRA Advisor Group. Membership does not guarantee investment success. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory services offered through Brookstone Capital Management, a registered investment advisor. Advisory clients are charged a quarterly fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission, which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation. Any investments and or investment strategies mentioned involve risk, including the possible loss of principal. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not refer in any way to securities or investment advisory products. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes.